Hi, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create hand erasing text effect in PowerPoint 2013. The PowerPoint effect you will learn to create today looks like this. On a click, you have a hand that erases the text like this. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful? Let me show you how to create this awesome effect from scratch by going to a new slide. There are a couple of things that we require to create this effect. One is a text. It doesn't matter what text you write. Here I have written erasing text in a handwritten font. I've used the font called Sego Print in PowerPoint 2013. You would be able to find this in the font group here. The other thing that you would require for this effect is a picture that has an eraser like this one. Now let us see how to create custom animation in such a way that this hand erases the text here. I'm going to go to animations tab in PowerPoint ribbon and open the animation pane so you can follow whatever that I'm going to do from now on. I'm going to first select the text here and I'm going to apply animation and the animation I'm going to apply is fade exit animation. So it is a fade exit animation and this is how the animation plays. Now I don't want the entire text to fade out in one go. I want the fading to happen letter by letter or character by character. So for that I'm going to go here to the animation event in animation pane. Click on the small arrow here to the right of the animation event and then go to effect options and here you see an option called animate text. Instead of saying all at once, you need to have the animation happening by letter. The next thing you need to note is that there is a 10% delay between letters. We want this to be changed to 100%. That means only after 100% animation of a letter, the next letter's animation starts. So the animation is going to happen letter by letter with one animation following the next. So let us go to OK and you can see how the animation happens. You can see that each of these letters is getting erased in turn. Now this is slightly longer than what I require. So I'm going to go here and change the duration to 0.25. So that means each letter is going to get erased in 0.25 seconds. Now that takes care of the first of the animation events that we are going to have on this slide. The second animation we need to plan is for this hand to come and erase this text. So we are going to apply a certain type of custom animation to this object by selecting the object here, going to the drop down menu in the animations tab in PowerPoint ribbon and choosing the option called more motion paths and go all the way down and choose this option called as zigzag option. So I'm going to choose zigzag motion path and I'm going to say OK. Now you can see that there is a beautiful preview that is shown as to where exactly the animation is going to start and where is it going to end. So I'm going to make a slight adjustment in terms of the positioning of uh, the hand here. and. When the animation plays, let us see how it goes. It is going to erase all the way here. You can see that it needs to be a lot more than that. So I'm going to have this extended all the way. So the animation erases the entire text. So all I have done is I have extended this zigzag motion. Now that looks perfect. Now we need to make some adjustments to this animation event of the erasing of text and that is First, we need to change the duration. You can see that the duration of the previous event is 2.8 seconds. You can read it when I hold my hand, uh, hold my cursor at the end of the animation event. It is 2.868 seconds. So I'm going to extend this by clicking and dragging it so it matches the previous one. Now we have 2.8 seconds for the second one as well. The next step is to decide how we are going to have the hand enter and exit the scene. So we are going to add some more animations to this hand. So I'm going to select this hand. Then 
I am going to add an animation. So let us go to add animation. Don't go anywhere here because that will replace the earlier animation that we already had on this particular object. So let us go to add animation and it is going to enter the scene using float in option. So that is how it is going to enter and it is going to exit the scene by way of fly out. So I am going to select the same object once again, add animation and then say it is going to fly out. So that is how the hand is going to leave the scene. So these are the set of animations we have. The next thing we need to do is to decide on the order of animation. There are four animation events here and we need to decide on which of the animation happens first. Naturally the animation where the hand enters the scene is going to be the first animation. So I'm going to have that right on top. Then we need to have the hand moving across in a deleting fashion. So I'm going to have this as the second animation and this has to happen after the previous animation. It is not going to happen on click. It has to happen after previous animation. While this animation happens, we need to have the erasing happening simultaneously. That means this has to happen with previous. And after these animation events have happened, we need to have the hand exiting. So this is going to be after previous. Now, once again, let us quickly review the various events that are happening. On a click, the hand enters the scene. After that, the hand is going to move in zigzag fashion. While that is happening, the text is going to get erased. After the animation event happens, then we have the hand exiting the scene. So that is how we explain this in English. Now let us see how the whole animation event happens when I go into the slideshow mode. On a click, a hand comes and start erasing the text. That's beautiful. Now that is how you create the erase text animation effect in PowerPoint 2013. I hope you really liked the tutorial you saw in this video. If you did, then you will really love our 25 creative ideas email course. You will get daily email lessons for five days with tips and techniques in PowerPoint you can implement readily. You will be able to access videos, downloads and examples to learn easily and thoroughly. So click on this red button here and start your free course now and I'll see you inside the email course.